Hello everybody. Well, I suppose some of you might feel a bit disappointed. You didn't get to go on the sort of summer holiday you would have wanted to this year. It is exciting and great fun to travel somewhere different, to see new things, to taste new food, to experience different parts of the world. But you know, sometimes people, even children, have to travel away from their homes and their families and their friends because of danger and difficulty. These people are called refugees. It is not fun or exciting to travel as a refugee. It is dangerous and frightening and difficult. Something that we often forget is that Jesus was a refugee. Just after he was born, because of a nasty, nasty king called Herod, bad things happened in his hometown. Jesus' parents, Mary and Joseph, had to flee for their lives to Egypt, taking Jesus with them when he was just a baby. Let me tell you how it happened. Our story is Jesus Was a Refugee. Hello. My name is Jesus, son of Joseph, son of David, son of Abraham. This is my family. This is Bethlehem where I was born. Bethlehem was my home, now it is not my home. We can visit, but it is not safe to stay for too long. Not while the son of bad King Herod sits on the throne. When we visit Bethlehem, I play with the girls. There are no boys my age in Bethlehem. The women in Bethlehem are sad, really sad. My aunties cry a lot when they see me. My name is Jesus. I am a refugee. And my name is Joseph, son of Jacob, son of David, son of Abraham. This is my wife Mary and our son Jesus. I am a refugee. Let me tell you how it all happened. When our son was small, wise men came. They said our son would be king. They gave him gifts of gold, frankincense and precious myrrh. One night, an angel spoke to me in a dream. Get up, grab your son, go to Egypt. King Herod is looking for your boy. He wants to kill him. We fled, we hid. We walked and we walked and we walked and we walked. We walked all the way to Egypt. Welcome to border security, Mr. Joseph. So, you wish to enter Egypt? If we can just review your documents. Mm. It says here that you are Joseph, son of Jacob. But it says here you are Joseph, son of Heli. What is your father's name? Tell me, who are you, Mr. Joseph? You say you're from Bethlehem, but it says here... You're from Nazareth. Hmm, where do you really come from, Mr. Joseph? Did you say this woman is your wife and this boy is your son? But the dates on these two certificates are a little irregular. Is that really your family, Mr. Joseph? Gold, frankincense and precious myrrh. I'll look after these for you. Welcome to Egypt, Mr. Joseph. Then, one night, the angel returned and spoke to me in a dream. Get up, grab your son, go back to Israel. King Herod is dead. We left Egypt. We walked and we walked and we walked and we walked. We walked all the way to Bethlehem. But it still wasn't safe to stay in Bethlehem. So we walked and we walked and we walked to Nazareth in Galilee. Nazareth is now our home. My name is Joseph. This is my wife Mary and our son Jesus. Do not forget. Never, ever, ever forget. Jesus was a refugee. I wonder what it would be like to be a refugee. I wonder 
what we could do to help refugees. From what I picked up in the story today, I think you would be tired and worried all the time as a refugee. You would never feel safe or secure or settled. What could we do? Well, we could make refugees feel really welcome. We could treat them with real kindness. We could give them a good home. We could care. We could listen to their story and learn how hard their lives had been. And do you know what? Because Jesus was a refugee, I think he would say, what you do for these refugees you do for me. Think about all of that, but now get up, get ready to sing and to dance and to do the actions, and I'll say bye for now and see you next time. Mm -hmm.